What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Very happy that you are here. Today, we're going to jump right in. And today's topic is go your own way. Go your own way. Find out what works for you. We are given and have by nature so much freedom, so much more than we are led to believe because quite honestly, from a very young age, of course, we're programmed to think that we're not free, that we have to do what everybody else says, what our uh, parents say, you gotta do this, this, and this by this age, and if you don't, you're a failure, you're a loser, blah, blah, blah. All the stuff that society tells you, all the stuff that your parents, most teachers, social media, everything tries to brainwash you to think. But it couldn't be farther from the truth truth is you have so much autonomy and so much freedom it can actually be overwhelming and that is actually why a lot of people tend to just follow the norm and what everyone else is doing or go by what other people say because they really don't understand or are comfortable with the level of power and autonomy and freedom that they have you can literally do whatever you want whenever you want with whoever you want that is freedom that's what you're working towards if you're not currently there and if you are there Oh man, it can be scary. So sometimes we, on our journey to creating a better life of freedom for ourselves, of autonomy, can feel overwhelmed or fearful of the immense power that we truly wield and the autonomy and uh, amount of choices truly unlimited that we have. And so sometimes we go backwards, but that's not where you're going. That's not why you're watching this video. This video is to remind you to go your own way to go your own way to find out what works for you specifically and we will dive into it today's video is brought to you by no i'm just kidding today's video came from that song by fleetwood mac you can go your own way go your own way yeah beautiful singing i know but it's funny as i looked into that song that song is about a breakup <laughs> but it also applies to if you're going through a breakup or whatever it is. The point is, go your own way, find out what works for you in life, whether it's in relationships, whether it's in your career path, whether it's the way you dress or look, or the way you choose to speak, act, or think. As long as you're not hurting anybody, any people, or the environment, do whatever the hell you want and don't let anyone stop you, and that's the truth of it. So there's your reminder. Don't let anybody deter you from what you want to do and who you truly are. Go your own way. Find out what works for you. Autonomy, freedom. So much so it can be scary because of the myriad options we have with everything. What do you want to eat? You can eat whatever you want. Well, if you are in a place where you have that luxury, sitting here in this shopping center parking lot where there's like little takeout places, you can go get Chinese food, you can go get sushi, you can go get a pizza, you can go get a burger, you can go home and make chicken Alfredo, you can go and cook yourself up a steak and potato, you can eat nothing and do intermittent fasting, you can drink water, you can drink alcohol, you can drink coffee or not drink coffee, you can drink juice or not drink juice, you can drink pineapple juice, cranberry juice, you see what I'm saying? We have so many choices, you have so much freedom and autonomy it's important that you embody who you want to be and truly are and stay true to yourself and go your own way. Because if you're not, man, that's what leads to depression, to misery, to an unfulfilled life. Because again, since we're brainwashed, we tend to follow the norm, the pattern of what everyone else is doing or says that we should do as if they know what's best for us. How do they know? It's not their lives, it's our lives. We get to choose. So go your own way. Your happiness relies upon two things. Well, many more than two things, but these are the two things that I wrote down that really popped into my mind. Your happiness relies upon, number one, your ability to be independent from the good opinions of other people. Whatever you do in life, someone's gonna say something about it. So regardless of who they are to you, mom, dad, uncle, aunt, cousin, etc., grandma, grandpa, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, etc., coworkers, blah, 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 list goes on. Doesn't matter what they think, to be honest. Even your parents, doesn't matter. Your opinion matters more than all of those people or anyone in your entire life. Why? Because it's your life, it's not theirs. So you get to choose what you wanna do, how you want to live and who you want to be. Again, as long as you're not hurting any people, any animals or the environment, do whatever the hell you want. Someone is always gonna have something to say about it. So your happiness relies upon your ability to detach from the opinions, the judgments of other people. Be independent from the good opinions of others. 
They mean well, but they don't really know what's best for you. And you may not know, but you'll only know if you detach from what other people say you should do and you go find your own way and you choose your own path and you experiment. So number one, your happiness relies upon your ability to be independent from the good opinions of other people. Number two, your happiness relies upon your willingness to explore what works for you and overcome the fear of change. Because the only way you're gonna go your own way is if you're independent from the good opinions of others and you embrace and relish change instead of fear the unknown and fear change because that will keep you stuck doing the same things and doing what everyone's telling you to do and then you live an unfulfilled life or doing things, you gotta figure stuff out on your own because really nobody knows what's best for you except for you. They might think they know and they have good intentions and let me stop there and say it's important to be humble and be open to different perspectives and ideas and suggestions from other people. But in the end, the most important voice that matters to you should be your own, your own intuition, your higher self, your soul speaking to you about what you should do. You know your heart knows better than anybody, anybody. No one knows what's best for you. You do, your heart does. And as long as you follow your heart, which is your higher self speaking to you through your body and your feelings, then you won't know either. But if you're living in fear, then your heart gets blocked off and you can't listen to your heart about what you really want. They're telling you to go eat nothing but fruits and veggies, that's great. You should, it's healthy too. But if you feel like you want a cheeseburger for the day, go get a cheeseburger. Because if you just shove fruits and veggies over and over and you don't want it and you're not following your heart when you really want a cheeseburger, you're not gonna be happy. So there is a balance there, right? Of course, because you know you should eat healthy too, but you get what I'm saying. It's most important you listen to your heart about what you want and you follow your own desires because your life is your own to live and part of the adventure of life that we live is making mistakes and going and finding out for ourselves. F around and find out, man, you gotta do it. Sis, you gotta go do it. You won't know unless you go try. So you've got to, and in order to try, you've got to let go of the fear of change, the fear of failure. That's what is fun about life is going and exploring. You thought you were always going to hate, uh, I don't know, some type of new drink. You thought you were always going to hate, uh, cranberry, grape juice, pineapple with ice water. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. Right. But then you tried it and you were like, whatever, screw it. I'll give it a shot. And it's the best thing you've ever had in your life. You thought you hated sushi because it's raw fish, but for the first time you tried it and you're like, dang, this is freaking delicious. Why didn't I try this? Oh, because everyone told me raw fish is terrible and I was scared of it, but it actually is delicious and I love it and it's so healthy and makes me feel good. You won't know unless you F around and find out, man. You gotta go try. Sis, you gotta go do it. Find your own, go your own way. Listen to your own heart and calling and path. You have to go in. You don't have to do anything, by the way. You do whatever you want. First of all, that's what this video is about. You do whatever you want. But here's an example about finding your own path, going your own way. You won't know until you try these different things. If we look at fitness, an example I often use, your way is gonna be your own unique way and it's gonna look different than pretty much most other people. Why? Because you're infinitely unique. So this is why it's important you listen to your heart and what's calling you and be independent from the good of other uh, good opinions of others. If we use fitness, for example, you've tried everything. Everyone says you should lift weights. Everyone says you should intermittent fast. Everyone says you should do keto. Everybody says you should do Pilates. Everybody says you should become a, a runner. Everyone says you should become a cyclist. Everyone says you should do pole dancing. Everyone says you should CrossFit, fill in the blank, X. Everyone thinks they knows they know what's best for you. You don't until you go try it. She tried Pilates, it didn't work for her. And until she started lifting weights, nothing was happening. When she lifted weights, boom, it clicked. But then her friend tried to lift weights, it didn't work for her. But then she went and did a, a bar class or like a dance class and all of a sudden she got in the best shape of her life. Two different people with two different methods achieving what they want in their own way. It's not gonna look the same as everyone else. This is why you've got to follow your heart and do what's best for you. Someone tried Pilates, didn't work. They tried weights, it did work. Someone tried running, it didn't work. They tried yoga, it, didn't, it did work. You won't know, you've got to go and go your own way. Find what works best for you. That's what this is about. So where do we start? Where do I start, Pierce? I don't know what I want, because I've been a prisoner of my own beliefs and thoughts and prisoner to the opinions of other people, albeit well wishes, 
good intentions. So I don't really know about my inner voice. I haven't been listening to myself. So where do I start? <laughs> Self-awareness. You've got to become aware of who you have been, the different masks that you've been wearing or have been programmed to wear and live and be. You have got to be aware. How do we become aware? We start asking ourselves questions. And the more uncomfortable the answers and the more uncomfortable the questions, the better answers you're going to get, the more self-awareness you're going to create. Here's a couple to ask yourself. Self-awareness. Who have you been pretending to be? What roles, who have I been pretending to be? Ask yourself that, write this out, journal it out. Who have I been pretending to be? What roles have I been playing to please others and be liked, but are not really me? Radical self-honesty, my friend. You've got to be radically self-honest. And I'll give you a hint. When you ask yourself a very uncomfortable question, and you can give yourself an answer that you don't like, that's truthful, you know it's truthful, but you really don't like it and you really don't want to admit it, now you're getting somewhere. Because your ego does not want to die. That persona that you put onto the world, the programming, the personality that you had created, but you didn't really create it, you allowed it to be molded by others, which we all do because we have to out of survival, right? We're raised by parents. We can't feed ourselves when we're four, three or four years old. And if you can, man, you're one of those, you're a very unique individual and must be super advanced from another planet. I mean, we all are, but you get my drift. What are you pretending not to know? Radical self-honesty. Who have you been pretending to be? What are my major flaws? How are they really messing with me? What's the hard stuff for you to admit about yourself? Now you're getting somewhere. Now you're in that journey of self-exploration, self-awareness. And as you become aware, now you become empowered to and change it. So you become aware and you embrace it being responsible for the hats that you've been wearing that aren't yours. The person you pretended to be in order to be liked by others. We all do it. We've all done it. We all still do it regardless of where you're at. Unless you're an enlightened being and you're completely detached. But if you were enlightened, you wouldn't be here on planet Earth. You'd be up in the stars in the sky being someone else's guardian angel trying to teach them the stuff that we're talking about here on this video. But you're on your way. That's why you're doing this. Radical self-honesty. So where do I start? How do I go my own way? How do I, how do I find out what works for me individually? Self-awareness. Two, open your heart up to joy and excitement. What makes you happy? What makes you joyful? That is the first. So self-aware, who have you been? Who are you pretending to be? How do I find my path? How do I find my way, Pierce? What's something you've always wanted to do? You became a, uh, a, in a job, in a position you didn't want to do. You went to law school and you're a very successful lawyer and created a great job for yourself, but you hate it. You hate it. Your job is to argue by nature. You don't want to be argumentative. You want to create har harmony. You want to create, you know, uh, connection. That's not who you want to be. What you really have always been into is music. Follow that path. That's what brings you joy. Yes, your ego's gonna come up. Oh my gosh, I have a house and a mortgage and a family and kids and I make a great living and stuff. Yeah, you're not gonna become a rock star overnight, but just do it just because you enjoy it and see where it leads years down the line. Who knows? Maybe you get into music production. Maybe you end up opening an instrument store. I don't know. Each you're going to have your own unique way. That's again what this video is about. Go your own way, find out what works for you. So we do that by becoming self-aware and then following our heart about what we're interested in. What's the life you envision for yourself that would make you happy? And then as you do this part, your ego is gonna come up and say, nope, you can't do that because of this and nope, you can't do it that. Understand that that's your ego. And that there's a belief system that needs to be broken down and reorganized that again goes back to the self-awareness, understanding who you've been, what your conscious are, and what your conscious and subconscious beliefs are, really those subconscious beliefs. Follow your joy, follow your excitement. The third step, take one step in the right direction. So using the music example, it is music. I do wanna do music, great. Take one step in the right direction. 
you've always wanted to get into music, you've enjoyed it, but you don't know what to do or how to start, how to start or whatever. Who cares? Just start playing music again. Get some lessons. Do it once a week, once a month. If you can't afford it, get online. Go on YouTube for free guitar lessons, piano lessons, saxophone, harmonica, etc. In the age of information, ignorance is a choice. Dr. Joe Dispenza. There's information at your fingertips out there. You can do whatever you want to do and it doesn't have to cost a lot of money or be a big time investment. But just do what makes you happy. Take one step in the right direction. As you take one step in the right direction, pay attention, your consciousness will expand, your heart will open, the signs and synchronicities will begin to present themselves because you're moving in the direction of your heart and your soul, your true purpose, what's really gonna bring you joy and fulfillment and therefore share your gift with the world, which is what we're here for on planet Earth. Take one step, listen and pay attention to the signs and synchronicities that pop up. Don't think about it. Feel in your heart and in your body what excites you because your mind is, especially if you're super deep in it, man, it, your mind is immediately gonna put up blocks. Nope, can't do that. Nope, can't do that because of this and all this because of this and can't do that because of this. Follow your heart first and then use your mind to logically acquiesce the calling of your heart this is how we create a true connection and harness the power that's given to us the passion and love in our heart armed with the power of logic and intellect in our mind when we can meld those we're unstoppable we're right in the zone right in the middle is where we should be the heart and the mind connected heart mind there we go <laughs> connected follow that use your mind don't let it use you and have your ego beliefs pop up about why you can't. If your heart says it, then go and follow your heart and then use your mind to overcome the blocks rather than create them. Number four, be willing to be different. Courage. You will be judged. You will be criticized. You're going to be made fun of. Expect it. What you have to understand about this, I always talk about this, is you can't take it personally when you go on your journey Initially, it might be lonely and you might not have a lot of people support. You're going to have a lot of doubters. Don't take it personally. What you have to understand is that your growth is triggering those that are judging you who are not growing. Those who are fearful are being triggered by your fearlessness. So they're going to want to try to make you feel bad and keep you down. Crab in the barrel. You've heard me use that example before. If you haven't, here's the quick story. There's a guy walking along the dock and sees a fish, crab fisherman on the shore. Uh, or at the dock, he sees a barrel full of crabs and these crabs are climbing out of the barrel and the guy goes, hey, sir, all your crabs are climbing out of the barrel. The fisherman looks at him and goes, hmm, that's what you think, watch this. As the crabs get to the top of the barrel, guess what happens? All the other crabs grab that crab that's almost out and yank him back down because they don't want him to get out. That's what people are gonna try to do when you go your own way. But you ain't about that, you don't care, you know why? Because the calling and the joy and the fulfillment in your heart is more important to you than the opinions and what other people think of you. Is it not? And if it isn't, man, you got some work to do, girl, homie. You got some work to do. You got to look inward and go, man, that's crazy. Other people's opinions and what they think of me is more important than my own happiness. That's wild. Something to think about. Man, I've been so tired lately, dude. And I'm tired. I'm all jacked up. And all of a sudden, like, yeah, I'm about this video right now. Or I'm just, I feel good. Uh, been resting 88 Lionsgate portal. Ooh, I got to add that on at the end. Make sure we talk about that. Today is August 7th, 2024. Tomorrow is August 8th, 2024. That's 888 in numerology. The most powerful gateway of manifestation in your life. This is truly a once in a lifetime opportunity. Never again will it be 888 on the date. Tomorrow it will be 888. This is the most powerful day for you to set your intentions and create your manifestations because the Lion Gate port, Lion's Gate portal is associated with eight, the number of abundance, the number of material success. You can dream huge and get clear on what you want. And there's a powerful force of the universe right behind you. It's listening, it's always listening. So 888, I digress. So don't take it personally. Understand that your growth triggers those who are not growing that your fearlessness is triggering those that are fearful. And here's the cool part about it. You're also inspiring those who wish to make the change just like you, but are in that overcoming the fear stage. 
So although you might trigger people, you're also going to really inspire those people who are in the same position as you, who are afraid to make the leap. And once you make the leap and they see it, they're gonna be like, oh crap, he can do it, she can do it. Okay, I can do it too. You're right there. In the end, on your deathbed, you're dying alone. You'll be surrounded by people that you love, friends and family, but you're still dying alone. You're gonna be on your deathbed. So the question is when you're on your deathbed and you're almost out of this life, is anyone's opinions at that point throughout your entire life gonna matter? No, what's gonna matter? Your own happiness and fulfillment in your heart and in your soul. The question to ask yourself is when you're on your deathbed, will you be happy in your heart and soul because you went your own way and choose to create a life that you want for you, that you truly enjoy and that's fulfilled? Or will you have regrets for allowing the opinions of other people to stop you from being fulfilled and doing what you want? Or will you allow the fear of what hap what if that doesn't work out, stop you from going your own way, finding out what works for you, living a truly fulfilled and happy life? How are you gonna look? When you're sitting there on your deathbed, even your husband or your wife, and they're there with you, right? Of course, it's all hypothetical. Are you gonna look back and go, man, I did everything to make them happy, but I never lived what I wanted to do. I never lived the life I wanted to do or what I wanted to do. Or are you gonna say, man, I lived an amazing life. Hopefully you have a partner that's, you guys are on the same trajectory and path and you're creating it together. But anyways, you understand what I'm saying. Quotes I leave you with today. I mentioned one in the body of the talk today near the beginning. And I've used this many before, many times before, and you will hear me say it many times again. Dr. Wayne Dyer, the late, great Dr. Wayne Dyer, rest in peace. Thank you so much for being a great teacher and mentor of mine. He says, self-actualized people are independent of the good opinions of others. So again, you must be independent of the good opinions of others. And then, of course, I said the other one already. I even sang it to you. Fleetwood Mac. Open up. Everything is waiting for you. You can go your own way. Lyrics from the song. So go your own way. Somebody's gonna have something to say regardless. But what does that have to do with your happiness? What does it have to do with your fulfillment? Nothing. Because this is your life and your life alone to live. As you go your own way and you find out what works for you, there will be people that drop off in your life. And it may be lonely for a period of time. Or it might not be. Best case scenario, they support you. They're all about it. Hope so. But what will happen is, as you go towards a new path, you will be attracting people that are more like the real you. It'll be much more ease, much more flow and joy in your life. So go your own way, find out what works for you. Love you guys so much. If you liked the video today, please like and subscribe and share the video with someone who you may or who pops into your mind who you think needs to hear this message as well. Very grateful for you, for you working on yourself. How do I know that? Because you're watching this video and that's what we do here. We're going our own way. We're creating the lives that we want. And we're doing it together. So I'll see you for the next video. I appreciate you. Love. Bye.